Tucked away off Highway 82, just east of the Texarkana city limits, is Tom and Shannon Olson's Turkey Creek Ranch, where you will find one of Arkansas's more unique livestock herds, water buffalo. At the time, it was something a little different than cattle. Um, once we had them for a few years, we really uh, enjoyed their personalities and their different, each one has a different personality, so uh, getting to know them and uh, their easygoing nature, it was uh, quite, quite a change from regular cattle. After raising Angus cattle for several years, the Olsons learned about water buffalo in the mid 80s and bought a few. They liked them so much they began raising them exclusively in 1991 and established the country's first water buffalo dairy operation. At its peak, their herd numbered around 250. Word has spread about the ranch and has attracted tour groups, including these FFA students from nearby Genoa Central High School. I was definitely impressed um, to find this little, this little jewel tucked away um, back here just off of Highway 82. Uh, I didn't even know it was here. I had known the Olsons, but I, I didn't know what to expect. But I, I think the kids really, really enjoyed it and how, um, how docile these were compared to, I think, what we were expecting. The buffalo's calm demeanor and longevity is what attracted the Olsons to them. Now they're selling some of their stock to help establish herds in other parts of the country. They have long lives and they have a lot of calves. And so uh, from an economic standpoint, that's, that's really helped uh, help the operation. And uh, they'll start calving usually when they're about three. So uh, it's not unusual to have 16 to 18 calves per, per animal's lifetime. Uh, the world population of buffalo is about 182 million, um, and yet we only have four to 5,000 at the most here in the United States. Water buffalo are popular for their milk, which is the primary ingredient in mozzarella cheese. They're also known for their lean meat. Miller County Farm Bureau provided lunch and grilled water buffalo burgers for the meal. The meat itself is very low in cholesterol, lower than chicken, uh, it's low calorie, uh, it's good in protein and iron, so it's a uh, it's a win-win uh, situation. You know, farming is kind of a tough business. It's a low-margin business, and um, the buffalo gave us a little niche market that we didn't have with the cattle. Kimberly Lee is a member of the Miller County Women's Committee and works as FFA advisor at Genoa Central. She had her students research the history of water buffalo but says they learned much more by seeing the animals up close and hearing the Olsons share their story. It was really interesting to see how they went from cattle to water buffalo, um, and they, they checked the water to see if there's anything else they were interested in doing, but it, it's really, really interesting to see that there's someone out there so close to us doing something so, so neat and out there that you don't really think about. 